Happy to draw online, guys, and welcome to Breach and Clear Deadline Rebirth. Now, this game, as much as I loved Breach and Clear, this isn't Breach and Clear. This is a whole new game. With that being said, it's not. It was. I'd seen a playthrough of it before, and I didn't like what I'd seen. And then I played it myself, and again, it just. I didn't think it was that good but in any case I mean you know I played through it a little bit and then they they did an update in 2016 and that's the quote-unquote rebirth part of it I think but in any case it is a little bit more better it feels a little more balanced and whatnot before it was just it was horrid to play I figured what the hell we'll go through a playthrough now if you're seeing this, if you're regular to my uh, YouTube channel and you're seeing this before Command and Conquer 3 Tiberium War finishes, what that means is that I'm stuck on a level, so I'm practicing that level so that I can try and beat it, essentially. Because I'm not very good at RTSs. I, I used to be okay, but I haven't played RTSs in forever. And I'm not very good, especially at Command Conquer 3. I don't know what it is about it, but the Tiberium War campaign is just kicking my ass. Um, the first mission I, I ever got stuck on was Alexandria, and I was stuck on it for like months. And then even when I went to go record it now, I was stuck on it for a while there. Um, I got by it, obviously, but that's not how they're here. I'll explain that more when we, I actually play that game. This game, though. Let's go ahead and nuke game, campaign. I'm going to skip the prologue just because the prologue is a tutorial and it doesn't really have anything to do with the story. Well, I mean, it kind of does. Basically, what the prologue is, besides teaching you all the game mechanics, is this group of four guys, they go into this uh, research facility and they find zombies. Literally it. So we're going to skip the prologue. First, we get to name our squad. Will be the ninja tribe i mean how could we not come on first character is going to be us i like the headband and i think i want us to be a fire team leader now there's a whole bunch of different classes i'm going to pick four certain ones and then explain them to you um but yeah each class has a different special ability a different skill tree a different loadout uh overall though the most important thing is that you can hybrid so as you play through the game i could go fire team leader to a certain point and then if i save up the skill points i can put a couple of skill points into like scout and stuff like that so we might be doing that as we go along so the first person, like our character, well my character, is going to be the fire team leader. His ability is provoke enemies, so he draws enemies to the soldier. Provoked enemies are more susceptible to damage. The stat growth is spread out evenly. Uh, starts with a M4 and a M9, and that's about it. Um. This will be the second person. So we have a fire team leader. Now, the one thing I do know that I want to happen here is my voice just awkwardly cracked is that I don't want primary guns overlapping just because then the ammo burns so much quicker, but it's going to happen at the beginning here, unfortunately. Um, my thought process is that the scout I really don't want.
It's not really that useful. Pain enemy would be better. I definitely want a medic. And I think explosives expert, but I also want a weapon sergeant. Because suppression is huge. Explosive expert is huge. Might just have to go bite the bullet and go medic. Yeah. Let's go ahead and make it a medic. No. I'll do this. Our medic will be Q's in Q. So they have the stabilized, so they can revive a KO'd soldier with 15% of his health. If you don't have a medic, you have to use a defib, which is a consumable item. I'll talk about that as we get on. Stack growth is more towards health and speed and less towards luck and accuracy. <clears throat> Third character is going to be our explosive expert. So they get a satchel charge so they can uh, create and throw an improvised explosive device. This is a huge and useful ability. It has like the longest cooldown, I'm pretty sure. Um, I forgot to say the medic starts with an M4 and M9, but I'll be switching or keeping them rather on the M9 probably as much as possible. Um, the explosive expert starts with a Warren PDW90 uh, in the breach and clear world. It's actually a P90 and then a M9. Stat growth is more towards health. Uh... I know who can do this. That's going to be a weird one, Ozzy. And then last but not least, I'm going to want my weapon sergeant. So they get suppression. Creates an impassable wall of bullets. Pins uh, any under... Uh, pins any under fire enemies to their current position to give... And give slight damage. Stat growth is more towards health and accuracy. Less towards luck and speed. They start with an MK, MK46 and an M9. And this is going to be PQ death PQ. So there we have it after a long assessment of what I wanted to take. I'm going to figure out the weapons thing as we play. We got ourselves, Cyber Ninja as fire team leader, Q's in Q as medic, Weird One Aussie as explosives expert, and PQ death PQ as the weapons expert. Time to jump into us. It's been a while since I uh, recorded a game that I would do hour segments of. This is going to be one of those games, so I had to get in the habit of uh, keeping an eye on the clock again, which isn't a huge deal. Virgil 2 2, this is Virgil Actual. What the hell just happened? Virgil Actual, not sure who the hell just shot us down. Uh, but that was definitely a stinger. Super 2-4 is down. Team is scattered and gear is shot. Request an exfil at the green smoke grid coordinates. Virgil 2-2, we don't have anyone to pick you up. You're far too inside the zone for hire uh, to release a bird. I don't know how to say this, but you need to find some shelter and press on. Virgil Actual, copy. We'll, find, we'll radio in when we get our bearings. I'm good, sir. Gear got lost when we bailed, but I saw at least three of the guys make it out before the bird bought it. Right, we're going to find the rest of the team, square our shit away, and press on to our original objective. Might find better equipment as we go along. No use sitting here. So this game can be played one of two ways. It can either be played in this mode the entire game, or you can switch back and forth, or you can play in this mode. Uh, I'm going to be doing a mixture of both. When we're running around, I'm going to be in this, but whenever we encounter enemies, I'm going to be playing it like this. Roger. This is where the breach and clear component comes into place. You can actually pause the game to uh, make plans and then unpause it after. Just like you would in breach and clear. This is what you're going to be seeing the most of is zombies. Obviously, I mean, it's a zombie game. 
But yeah, this game is really weird. It's uh, extremely different from what Breach and Clear was. And if you don't know what Breach and Clear was, it was a uh, tactical turn-based, basically a strategy okay. game, for lack of a better word. What you would do is hey, you would control three. your uh, your team of four guys through missions. And the missions could be different depending on what you chose. So you could choose uh, to do like just terrorist hunt missions, escape missions, stuff like that. Whereas, like I said, this game is just completely different. Stay sharp. Because this game is like a free roam RPG style. I don't know. It's like I said, it's weird. Done. Got it. And also with uh, the capability is of playing rather two different like ways to play it. And you can play them like kind of both at the same time simultaneously, I guess. All clear. It's weird. Like I could use this mode to micromanage and then go back into this mode. I'm pretty sure they'll still follow the orders. Here's our first loot chest. These things are random. We hope for the best and we usually get the worst. Frag grenade. It's not bad. Good to see you guys. Anyone else with you? Carl and Frank didn't get out in time. I think I saw Ryan punch out, but I didn't see a shoot. I think we're all that's left. Right. Okay. What do we have here? I still got my M4 and a few mags. Everyone else is sort of SOL on kit. A couple IFACs, but not much else. Check your ammo, everyone. We'll scavenge around to see if anything survived the debris field. We need to get to town. See about the local flavor and reestablish communication with Virgil. Everyone tight? Let's go. <coughs> We got company. What I want to do right uh -huh. now, uh -huh. pause the game. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Got it. Okay. I want uh, Zinc to use his pistol just because, Consider like I done. said, if not, it's going to eat up all my yes, sir. assault rifle ammo between the two characters. So we're going to run out of it eventually. What I'm trying to say. Consider it done. Got it. On it. <coughs> as long as we can keep these guys in bay. Most of the time, I won't have to use yes, the abilities. Sir. I'll kind of just be like more so bare bones than anything, but we will get into situations where I'll have to use abilities, equipment, and all that sort of jazz. Coming from behind us into the uh, the west. Got so. it. So. Got it. Done. We'll have death back up a little bit there. Yes, sir. We're done here. This is the after action report after you have uh, encounters like that. It will sh break down everything. So experience, the ranking it gave you for that encounter, kills, damage taken, accuracy, blah, 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 how long it took, all the same stuff. Now this stuff is basically the loot of the game, but it disappears after a while, which I don't think is correct, but. Virgil 2-2, this is Virgil Actual. Com check at 1300 Zulu, await and response. We're alive, Virgil 2-2. Confirming we made it to our initial insertion point. I've got four shooters with me. The rest are KIA. What now? All right, guys, it's time to get out of here. Operation says the main area downtown could still be viable. Recommend you make your way to the former buffer zone to get a better read. We're on it. Radio check when we hit the zone. See, like that. But we we can get scrap other ways, too. It's just, it's a shame. I think that was one of the things I didn't like about the game, was that that happens, because it seems like a really big overlook, in my opinion. Something that just shouldn't shouldn't really be there. All right. Done. I'm gonna want him dead center. Stay sharp. On it. Go in the middle. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Right now, it doesn't really matter if we take cover or not, considering they're not gonna shoot back at us. 
but still. What the hell? Roger. <sighs> yes, sir. I accidentally hit four instead of three. You got it. I want you over there. On it. The reason I want him there is because I want him to use his suppression ability. Uh huh. He can use the provoke enemy ability. Got it. Yes, sir. I don't really need to throw a, a satchel charge, so I'm not going to. Done. Just let it play out and see how it goes. These aren't the only zombies in the game, obviously. Obviously, we're going to be dealing with uh, more advanced zombies as it comes and whatnot. The only way these zombies are going to get us is if they come up this way. So, I'm going to flip everyone right. around. On it. Uh-huh. Also because there's zombies coming in from behind us here, too. At this point. A shotgun's a really good gun to have when you're playing. But, uh... It's shitty for longer ranges, obviously. It's one of the downfalls. And then the other downfall is just... We are gonna see, uh, human enemies in this game. And when Got we do, it's... All clear. Not really viable to have a shotgun. At least in my opinion. Let's see what we find here. Take that. We need that to uh, resuscitate a fallen comrade if we do have one go down during battle. I don't think there's anything in there. Although we have a map, which, is it F? Yeah, it is F. Show you, it'll show us like everywhere we've been and stuff like that. It doesn't show you things on the map unless you can see them or your character can see them rather, I guess. Operation start. Zombies are going to be in there. You got it. Uh-huh. You got it. Roger. I'm gonna set him up like that. You got it. I can pretty much do the same thing. Done. Ready on your go. They come a little bit closer than I can bottleneck them and just... Do the all suppression routine. Hell, I could even throw a, uh... Could even throw a satchel charge over there, but it's not really worth it. I feel as though the sound's too, too quiet. We'll see how that works. Roger. Looks like we have some level ups. Should be uh, the first two soldiers, so it should be ourselves and uh, Zinc. Targets pacified. Targets pacified. Yeah, we did level up. So we get to spend our first skill points if I wish. So with my character, I can either go shotgun specialization or assault rifle specialization. And uh, I can get them both. It's not like I have to get one or the other. Like I said here, you can go into another skill tree, but you need a certain amount of points. Like I need at least three points to uh, hybrid into another skill tree. Excuse me. Go assault rifle. Then health with him. Frag grenades. It's good. I'm going to need those. Go 
Doesn't look like there's anything over there, really. Control, this is Virgil 22. Buffer zone is a bus. What do you have for us? Uh, Roger. Sat images from a couple weeks ago showed some activity more towards the north, about 200 yards. Make your way up through, uh, yeah, up through and see if things have opened up the larger boulevards. The other two have finally leveled up. I think we will go ahead and go SMG speciali specialization for now. And for him, we'll go ammo, con uh, ammo conservation for the time being. Let's see if we can't press on. Are you kidding me? Three months and the cavalry from outside finally arrives? Man, put the gun down, let's head inside. Do it look like a threat to you? Are you crazy? No, you do not. We're going inside. Just stay calm and let's talk. I guess the worms don't need any more food than uh, they've already got. Andy, open the gates. Generator down again. Shit. Hold them off while we fix this thing. Got them coming in from the north and the west, so... On it. Got it. Got it. We'll set up like that for now. Done. And then pretty much the interface is self-explanatory, but uh, on the bottom shows the four characters. These things beside it, I can't remember. I think it's like inventory, like what they have equipped. Might not be though. Anyways, ammo, total ammo count. I'm trying to make sure I don't get overrun here. As I explain everything, of course. I can control the entire squad instead of moving like just one at a time. Map, mission, you know, all the all the basic stuff really. I think that's the last zombie. You're done here. Right on. AO shows green. Good work. Okay, get in here. All right, let's head inside and talk to them. I don't know how long this game is either, so I don't know how long it's going to take us to actually play through and beat this game. We'll find out though. Look, some crazy folk have been killing people for no reason these past couple weeks. You're lucky they didn't find you. We've been too damn scared to even walk out of here to find supplies and now you show up. Are you sure it's not infected? How long have you been in this area? It's not the infected we're worried about. It's those crazy fanatics. They've blocked just about everyone from moving around freely and they kill anyone they see. No questions asked. Any way for us to continue towards the harbor at all without running into them? Look, you aren't going to the harbor, but we do need your help. Man, we aren't in a position to help all that much. I'm losing it here, damn it. We can't, uh, you can't show up and just leave like this. You want a path to the harbor? Help us first and I'll show you a route. What do you need? Mostly food and medical supplies. There's a pub right up the street, but there's a bunch of those things trapped inside there. If you can find any alcohol left there, Tyler could at least use that to sanitize the wounds he treats. God knows we could all use a drink too. Fine. Sit tight and we'll be back in a few. So this is the safe house. Uh, anytime we leave the, the world map and come here, well, well, I'd say world map in quotations, but anytime we leave it and come here, we uh, heal up fully. The workbench is what we use for upgrading and the locker is what we use for basically storage. Don't think we have anything for storage right now. And same thing for... The, uh, I don't know why I'm in this mode. Same thing for uh, 
the upgrade bench too. I'm probably not going to upgrade anything for a while. And we don't have anything to break down in the scrap, so. Now the rest of this uh, video is pretty much me going to be running around getting all the, the chests in the area. We might make it to the pub before the end of the video, but I don't know. We'll see. We're not going to encounter anything until we head up the opposite way of this street. But yeah, it's important for us to come and just do all this looting now. We don't have to worry about missing something later. We'll have an abundance of ammo and whatnot. And if I'm lucky, I can find some good stuff too. So. We got here. Another trigger. Those are uh, are things you can use to uh, enhance your weapon. But like I said, I'm probably not going to be doing any upgrading for a long time until I find something worth upgrading. Pretty much. This will also help me uh, explore the map out some too, so I know what's what and where's where, because I'm going to have to come back out this way anyways for a mission. A couple missions, I'm pretty sure. Grab these and then I'm out of here. Found a sniper right on. Another machine gun. I think it's the same one uh, Death has, though. Check real quick. Yeah, it's the exact same one. Just want to see something for a second, though. Maybe ultimately I should take the light machine gun. I don't know. I think this is a dead end up this way anyways. Let's go that way and check it out. Map it out too, rather. More ammo. If I was smart, I would just leave it. Let's go explore the rest of the map, then I'll come back over and make our way to our objective. I do uh, have another game in mind that's kind of like Breach and Clear. It's a little more... I want to say a lot more fast-paced, though, than Breach and Clear was. Not to say Breach and Clear was slow, but I don't I don't know the right, right way to describe it, but it's definitely not like Breach and Clear. Sharp. It is in, like, Done. the genre of it, but... You got it. It's just as fun, if not funner. We are about to get overrun. I'm pretty sure if we uh, leave out of this boundary, we lose the mission, I think. I don't know if we can even leave out of the boundary, but regardless. Yes, sir. On it. Ready on your go. Stay sharp. You know why I'm taking this much uh, 
flack from these guys is the fact that uh, Roger. I have Zinc not using yes, a primary weapon, which I really should get him using a primary weapon. Looks like they hit Ninja, but lightly scraped him. Not like I'm gonna die from that. Okay, let's try to move back up this way. You got it. Ready on your go. You got it. I can force attacks too. If I need to. Here's the first of the advanced guys. There is also two different types.